In this short tutorial, I'll show you how you can import 3D animations into Element 3D using After Effects. So to start off, we're gonna get an animation like this one of this flag, which I will link in the description. Usually animations come in FBX format, and I'm gonna be doing this in Blender, but you can do this in any 3D software, or you have to look for is OBJ sequence. So let's go into File, Import, and select FBX, and select the file that you've downloaded with the animation. Now you can see it imported it with the animation and the keyframes right here. And all you have to do is to go to File, Export, select OBJ and create a folder for this animation. And let's name this flag.obj. And here you're just going to scroll down and make sure you export the animation. And as you can see, our animation lasts 200 frames. So let's change this to 200 and hit Export. Now this should be rather quick and it's basically going to import each frame of the animation as a separate 3D object. Okay, now let's head over to After Effects and go into our element. And here under File, Import, you can see we have 3D sequence and all you have to do is locate that folder and choose the first file and click Open. Hit OK and let's scale this up. Now as you can see we've got these baked animation settings and you can scroll through the animation and make sure it's imported correctly. We can also control the speed, but this is not something you want to do inside of here. So let's click OK. So if we go into group one and under particle look, you can see we've got an option here called baked animation. Now this is referring to the animations that you import into elements. So as you can see, this plays through just like the animation we exported and we can change the loop mode here. So basically freeze at the end. So once the 200 frames are over, it will stop. We can also slow it down, so if we set the playback speed to 70, we can see the animation is slower, but that's usually not very smooth, depending on the speed of the actual animation you have. So if we play this back, you can see it's pretty choppy, so that's not going to work very well. You can also adjust the frame offset here, so the animation would start playing from a different frame, and do the same for the ending. Now this is another animation from Mixamo, but as you can see, any animation works as long as it's exported in an OBJ sequence. Now, a very common issue I remember sometimes happening is when you import an animation, especially from Mixamo, and the model would appear with the animation, but it's dancing all around the place and it looks terrible. So the quick solution for this is if you create a new group and you import the sequence into this group instead of the main one. I remember it happened to me a lot and that would be the fix for it. So yeah, anyways, I hope this tutorial was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.